Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sell more photos using WooCommerce by displaying your photos in a table-based um, gallery view. I've uploaded 10 photos to my website and I'm going to show you how to show them in a different type of layout and I'll also tell you about the benefits of that. So on a normal WooCommerce layout, you have something like this, where you've got your product um, photo, the name, the price, and if you have variable products, so um, then you won't be able to add them to the cart from this page. You'll have to click through to the single product page and choose your options there. Um, so that's an extra click for the customer. So you see in this example, I've got two options for my photos that I want to sell. I've got a digital version, which is $10, and I've got a framed print, which is $50. Um, but on the category page, which we'll go back to now, it's just showing the price range and that there are options and you have to click through. What I want to do is create a WooCommerce gallery layout where all that information is displayed on, that, on a single page so that customers can choose all their options, add multiple products to the cart, and also view other types of information about the product, all from a single view. Um, that will be much more user-friendly and quicker for your customers to choose photos and buy than this more traditional layout. So let's get started. We're going to do it with a plugin called WooCommerce Product Table, which works alongside WooCommerce itself. So I'm going to show you the plugins you need in the plugins list of my website. You can ignore most of them, but the ones you want are WooCommerce, which will add your e-commerce functionality, such as adding your products in the first place and your cart and checkout, payment gateways, all that stuff. And you also need WooCommerce Product Table which is an extra plugin developed by us at Bantu Media. And WooCommerce and Product Table work together to allow you to create the new layout for your photo products, which I'm going to show you about in this tutorial. To, so we've already got the products. I'll show you them in the back end. So we'll go to the products page in WooCommerce. So if you haven't created your products yet, then do this first. So I've just added product for each photo and I'll go into one so you can see how it works. So I'll click into one of the products. So I've added a name for each photo. I haven't bothered with a description because most photo products are not, it's not about the words, is it? It's about the picture. So we've added a picture with the picture that people will be buying. Um, obviously, you would add a low resolution version or something so that people um, can't use it um, directly from the website. And there are plugins you can get to prevent people from downloading images from your site as well if you wanted to do that to make it more secure. And you could just create it as a simple product with a normal price. But what I've done is added it as a variable product. And that allows me to sell different versions of my photos, which a lot of photographers do want to do. So in this example, I've created a product attribute, which I did via the attributes section under products attributes in WordPress. So I did that first and then I selected them in the attributes tab for my variable products. So I've chosen the values digital image and frame print and I ticked used for variations and then I saved it. And then once I had saved it, I was able to click through to the variations tab and I, what I did was I selected to create the variations based on my attributes that, and um, then you can add prices for each individual variation. Um, so I'd added one price, $50 for the framed version of my print and another price for the digital version. And I also ticked virtual, uh, which is quite clever because if you do that, it means that it won't charge shipping for that product. So if you are selling digital versions of your photos, then you can sell them as a virtual product. And if you want them to be sent to customers automatically, then it's even better. You can click downloadable and this section will appear where you can actually add the file so that it will be securely sent to them, which is a really great way to automate selling digital downloads in, in WooCommerce. But I've just ticked virtual for now because this is just a test site. And the only other thing I did was add it to a category, but it doesn't matter if you do that or not. That depends on how you structure your site. 
So that's what I did for each product. Um, you'll quickly get the hang of variations if you're using them. And it's really handy because you can add different photo print sizes, different framing options. You can really go to town with variations on a photography website to give people all different options. And um, you can even sell photo albums and that sort of thing to collate the photos you've taken for people. And um, so that's a good opportunity to increase the revenue from your site by adding different variations and upselling. So you don't just sell the photo, think about how you can upsell by giving framing options and mounting and all that kind of thing. So we've got our 10 products and the next thing we want to do is use WooCommerce product table to display them in the WooCommerce gallery layout. So I've installed WooCommerce product table and what I want to do is um, check, make it work first by entering the license key. So I've gone to WooCommerce, settings, products, and then you'll see a new link that is added by the plugin called product tables. So you just need to make sure your license key is activated before you can use the plugin, otherwise it won't work. So what we're gonna do is go pages, add new. And I'm going to write WooCommerce photo gallery, but call it whatever you want. Obviously you wouldn't call this something with WooCommerce in, but that's my example. So this is the page where you want to display the grid of images which you're selling. Um, so I'm going to add a short code to the page. I'm going to write open square brackets and then product underscore table. And um, you may not want to do this, but I already have loads of other categories on my site and I only want to display my photos that I just created. So I'm going to write category equals and my category number is 134. Um, you might, if, you've owned, if you just want to display all your products, then just do product table with square brackets around that. If you want to display products from a specific category like I do, then you'd write category equals and you either write the category slug um, or the category ID. I'll just quickly show you how to find those. So I'm going to go into products categories just to show you um, how I got that information. So I'm going to go to my wedding category, which is here. And if I um, go to the um, edit, the, by the view page, the end bit of the link that you get from that is the slug. And to get the ID of your category, you go to the page to edit that category. And in the address bar at the top, which I know you can't see on my screen, but in the address bar of your browser, you'll see a really long and not very user friendly link, which is, you know, your domain slash WP admin slash term dot PHP, blah, blah, blah. And at some point it will say tag underscore ID equals and the number. And for me, it says 134. For you, it will be the ID of the category that you want to display. So that's where I got the 134 from. And I could have written wedding, which is the slug. So there are two ways to display specific categories. And I'm just going to publish my page and show you what it looks like for now. I'm going to go further with configuring it, but I'm just going to show you the most simple usage because obviously if that's what you want, then you can keep it simple. So what we've got is a grid of our products. This is not a photo gallery yet because it doesn't have photos, so that's not much use. So I'm going to make a few changes. First, I'm going to change my template to full width because as you can see, um, it's a bit squashed. Uh, ideally, I think um, image galleries should be on a full width layout if possible, but depends on how much information you want to display. If you're going to keep it simple, then by all means have a sidebar. But my theme has a full width template, so I'm going to use that. Whether you can do that depends on your theme. So I'm going to tell the shortcode now what columns I want to display. So within the square brackets, I'm going to write columns equals and within quotation marks, I'm going to write image, comma, name, comma, and add dash to dash cart. So that's telling the product table to show three columns, image, which is the product image, the name, which is the name of your product, which you added when, with your product, and an add to cart column. So let's just quickly update the page and have a look at how that has changed it. So my page is now full width and I've got a little image, I've got the name and I've got the add to cart column. 
Now, as you can see, it still says select options, which is not what we want. We wanted to actually choose the variations and add to cart directly from this page. So I'm going to show you a few more changes now that will allow us to do all that. So first of all, let's make the images bigger because this is all about the images. You're a photo photography website and you want big images. So we're going to add image underscore size equals and I'm going to go 300 by 300. Now that's the number of pixels that the image column should be. Um, you can have a play and see what works best on your site. But I'm just going to refresh mine. You see I've got nice big images now, much more visual for a photography website. And I could have more um, columns if I wanted to. You could have a description or um, any data you want, really, whether it's custom fields or attributes or taxonomies or tags, categories, all of that you can have as columns in, the, in your um, image gallery. So um, you can really tell people all about the images, what the file format is, the size, whatever you want, um, all from this single page. So let's work on the add to cart buttons now and get them working how we want them to. So because I'm selling variable products, I'm going to write variations equals true within quotation marks. So let's refresh the page and see what that does. So now we've got, it says select type, which is the name of my attribute. You can call yours whatever you want. And then I've got the digital image and the frame print. And whichever one I select, the price appears below and add to cart will appear um, so that you can actually add to the cart. Um, I want to be able to choose multiple products to add to the cart because obviously you want your customers to buy as many photos from you as possible. So let's do that now. I'm going to write add to underscore cart equals and then I'm going to write button checkbox and that's telling the plugin to change the type of add to cart button that we're using so at the moment we've just got a single add to cart button so I'm going to refresh the page and show you what that's done so now we can add multiple products you have to select the variation first so I might want a digital version of this image and a frame version of the next image so I'm going to tick them both and I'm going to add selected to cart and it tells me that that's in my cart. So it's a much easier way for your customers to add lots of photos to the cart all from a single page. So um, what else shall we do? Well, you, if these people are buying frame prints, they might want to buy multiple ones. Uh, it doesn't particularly apply to digital, but if you're selling physical photos that you're going to post to people, then you may want to allow people to choose different quantities. So we're going to add show underscore quantity equals, and within quotation marks, true. And we're going to update again, refresh the page, and see what that's done. So now we have a quantity to select. So if I wanted to order two of these prints, then I could either add selected to cart or I could just use directly the add to cart button so it's really easy for people to buy your photos. And finally I'm going to show you how to disable the links to the single product page because by creating this type of image gallery grid style layout with, with WooCommerce with extra data that isn't usually available on the category pages um, you don't actually need your customers to be able to click through to the single product page. So at the moment I can either click on the image or the title of a photo to be taken to the single product page. And now as you can see, there isn't really any information here that um, isn't on the previous screen. So um, there's no need for your customers to go there. I mean, you could still keep that. You might be adding longer descriptions or other information there, um, which isn't available on the uh, gallery page. However, if you do want to disable that, then I'll show you how to do that now. So we just add links equals and then within square, nope, sorry, square brackets is false. By adding links equals false within the short code and updating, that is going to disable the links. So this is how it was before. You can see that when I hover over an image, there's um, the, the cursor changes so you can see it's a link. And this is purple because it's a link. So I'm going to refresh the page. And it's wrong because I've made a mistake. So apologies for that. It's links equals none. 
not links equals false. So yeah, always check the syntax of your short code. It's all in our documentation to help you get it right. So now I've done it correctly with links equals none. Um, I've, it's no longer purple. You can't click on the image and you can't click through. So this is a one page order form for buying photos in WooCommerce. And um, see the photos are displaying, I think by default it's 25 per page, but if you look at the documentation for the plugin, there's loads of options about how to add different columns, how to show or hide this sort of information at the top, how to add filters above it, um, how to hide elements such as the search, change the number per page, change how they're sorted, how it behaves on mobiles, um, there is loads of stuff that you can do with it. So you can keep it quite simple as I have. And I've tried to focus on the options that photographers are most likely to use to sell photos via a single order form page like this. Uh, but you can do it however you want, really. Um, just use the documentation and configure it to suit your needs. Well, I hope that was useful to you. You can get WooCommerce product table from our website, barn2.co.uk, and it comes with full documentation and support from us at Barn2 Media. So just get in touch if you need any help getting your WooCommerce gallery set up with the information that you want about your products.